Did you hire somebody who you thought was the perfect fit or at least a good enough fit for the position, but now one week, one month, or a couple months in, you're starting to question your decision? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the early warning signs that someone may not be a fit for the position and what you can do to start to address it. Now, the first thing I wanna acknowledge right out of the gates is how absolutely frustrating this can be as a leader, to think that you ask the right questions in the interview, that you check them for culture fit, and maybe even assess their performance ahead of time to make sure they could do the job only to find out and to see things a couple months in that are showing you otherwise. But it's better to identify these early warning signs now than to wake up six months to a year later still trying to support an employee who may just not be the right fit for the job. So let's look at what some of those early warning signs. And to do this, I wanna look at three different categories. One, performance issues. Two, cultural misalignment. And three, communication problems. Number one is performance issues. And the first thing that we want to look at is lack of skill proficiency. Did this person tell you that they're an experienced graphic designer, but they struggle to make a basic logo? Did they tell you that they knew how to code, but you're seeing their code and it's not necessarily what you needed? And then this leads into the second thing. Are they constantly missing deadlines? Did they tell you that they were gonna get you something by five, but a week later you still don't have it and you're constantly following up with them? Well, you know what? Maybe they don't have the skill to do the actual task. And then this leads to the last one. Are they not able to work independently? Did they tell you that they knew how to do something, but they're constantly asking you questions or asking for support on how to do something? Now, there's a caveat to this one, because if they're asking, hey, where do I find this information? Who do I talk to about this? That's gonna be an onboarding process, right? Or how to use the specific software that you use. But if it's beyond that, then there may be a lack of skill, right? There may be an issue around performance. And if that's the case in any one of these areas, we wanna identify what are we seeing exactly? Where are we seeing that there's a skill gap so we can sit down, have a conversation with them about that skill gap and what we expect when it comes to improvement in each one of those areas. Number two, cultural misalignment. Now, where performance issues are a little bit easier to identify and address, cultural misalignment isn't quite the same thing. Now, what are we looking for? Now, one, we wanna look for frequent conflicts with team members. Maybe this new person comes in and is constantly disagreeing with people, is rolling their eyes when other people are sharing things in meetings, or maybe they're resistant to feedback. Maybe you say, hey, you know what? Thank you for delivering this, but this wasn't exactly what I needed. I needed that. And you see them fighting back with you, disagreeing with you, getting angry, distancing themselves. And then the third thing we wanna look for for cultural misalignment is disengagement from the company values. If you said we provide an extraordinary customer experience, but they're yelling at customers or they're getting frustrated at the other departments when they reach out, then you know what? They may not be a culture fit. And that's okay, but you're gonna to wanna to keep notes about some of the things you're seeing and see, are these one-off instances or is this an ongoing consistent behavior? Like if employees are constantly coming up and complaining about this person, maybe jot down after you have those conversations what you're hearing from people. And if you're noticing this person rolling their eyes after everybody shares in meetings, then you're gonna to wanna to acknowledge it to them and say, hey, you know what? The other day when so-and-so shared, I noticed that you rolled your eyes afterwards and they stopped talking and nobody else shared afterwards. And that's not the culture we're committed to here. And so in the future, I'd like you to do this instead. And then note that down and notice, do I see the behavior in the next meeting and the next meeting? And is this a pattern or was this a one-off thing? And then you need to act accordingly. And the third area is communication problems. And this is probably one of the hardest ones to identify because it may be our problem. Maybe we're not giving clear instructions. Maybe we're not asking the right questions. Maybe we aren't giving them the right tools to be able to do their job. But what you're looking for is if I give these instructions to somebody else, do they get it the first time? But this person, I've given the instructions three, four times and they don't seem to ever quite get it. They don't ask clarifying questions. They don't follow up. You may ask them to check in after they work on it for a couple hours to make sure on the right track. And then you ask for A and they bring back Z for the third time in a row. 
well, there may be some communication red flags going on. And if other people on the team are experiencing the same frustration, what you're looking for are patterns of behavior. So in summary, we're looking for performance issues, we're looking for cultural misalignment, and we're also looking for communication problems. And the first step with all of these is gonna be to identify the exact behavior or actions that we're seeing and what we'd like to see instead. And we're gonna first wanna bring that to the employee to be able to have a conversation to see if we can actually address those issues. But at the same time, if it's sending off a red flag in your mind that this may be a long-term problem with this person, then you're gonna also wanna keep a record of this and you're gonna to wanna to reach out to your HR professional to get guidance on what the next steps may be if you do need to work on exiting this employee from your organization. But the first step is always gonna to be to try to support this person to be able to turn them around so they can be the exact employee that you hoped they'd be when you hired them. But if not, it's better to address it now so you're not dealing with the same problem one year from now and you can get the right person into the position to help you do the work that your team and your organization are meant to do. 